ever feel like, ah, you're stuck, like in a rut, going through the motions. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, and it can be tough to break free, but uh, that's what we're diving into today. A way to break free. Exactly. We're talking about beginner's mind. This powerful concept can help you unlock like hidden potential you never even knew you had. Sounds intriguing. Right. So imagine um, approaching everything, and I mean everything, with those fresh eyes. Like when you played your first video game, you know, everything was new and exciting. I get it. Yeah. That reminds me, when I first started painting, I had no clue what I was doing. But you were open to trying, to experimenting. Totally. No fear of messing up, just pure curiosity. And actually, that's what Beginner's Mind is all about. It's a concept from uh, Zen Buddhism, actually. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it had such deep roots. Yeah, it's been around for centuries, influencing artists and thinkers. And essentially, it's about approaching life with this openness, a real sense of curiosity, and a willingness to see the world with fresh eyes, even if you think you've seen it all. So it's not about actually being a beginner, right? Right. But more like tapping into that beginner mindset. Exactly. It's that mindset that helps us unlock our potential. Think about a time you tried something new, anything. Maybe learning a new language or picking up a paintbrush for the first time. There's a sense of wonder, of possibility. You hit it right on the head. You're not weighed down by, you know, expectations or the fear of failing. And you're more open to new possibilities and creative solutions. Mm -hmm. You know, there was this fascinating study where they found that people with a beginner's mind actually solved problems more creatively than, get this, experts in their field. Whoa, really? They outperformed the experts. It's true. That beginner's mind gives you a different perspective helps you see those out-of-the-box solutions that others might miss. It's like finding those secret levels in a video game, the ones you miss if you think you know all the shortcuts. That is such a good analogy. It makes so much sense. But how do we actually cultivate this beginner's mind, you know, in our everyday lives? Got any practical advice for our listeners? Absolutely. One really powerful yet simple technique is asking what if questions. What if? Okay, I like where this is going. This forces you to, you know, challenge those assumptions and explore new possibilities that you might not have considered before. Let's say you're facing a challenge at work, right? Okay, I'm following you. Instead of just going with your usual solutions, you know the drill, stop and ask yourself, what if I approached this from a completely different angle? What if I looked at this with fresh eyes? That's a great point. And it actually ties in perfectly with something else we came across in our research. Huh? The importance of seeking out diverse perspectives. Like if you're always surrounded by people who think exactly like you, you're missing out on a wealth of fresh ideas and approaches. A hundred percent. It's so easy to get stuck in our own bubbles, but talking to people from different backgrounds, different fields even, can really shake things up. You'll be amazed at the insights you gain. It's true. And, and you know, I think that's a great reminder that Cultivating a beginner's mind isn't a one-time thing. Right. It's an ongoing practice. It's about approaching each day, each interaction even, as an opportunity to like learn and grow. Couldn't agree more. It's a journey. So listeners, here's a challenge for you. Think about one area of your life where you want to improve. Maybe it's something you're already pretty skilled at. Now ask yourself, what if the secret to getting better is to never stop approaching it as a beginner? Let that sink in. See what new possibilities open up when you approach it with those fresh eyes. Food for thought. It really is, and it could be a game changer.